A decade later, OpenAI finally realizes the first four characters of their name were not, in fact, a typo. On August 5th, they launch two open weight models, GPT OSS 120B and its smaller sibling, the 20B, that's actually suitable for running locally. The GPT OSS 120B is a 36 layer mixture of experts model with 117 billion total parameters, activating 5.1 billion per token. It runs on a single 80 gigabyte GPU due to MXFP4 quantization. The GPT OSS 20 billion is a small smaller, 24-layer model with 21 billion total parameters, activating 3.6 billion per token. It's designed for edge devices, requiring only 16 gigabytes of memory. Both models natively support a 128K context length. The model's attention mechanism uses alternating dense and locally banded sparse attention, similar to GPT-3. For efficiency, it also utilizes grouped multi-query attention and rotary positional embedding. The model was pre-trained on trillions of tokens focused on STEM, coding, and general knowledge with harmful CBRN content filtered out. The pre-training for the 120B model alone required 2.1 million H100 hours. The reason it's able to run on such small hardware despite its size is MXFP4 quantization. It's a model compression technique that converts a model's high-precision parameters, like 16-bit floats, into the standardized low-precision 4-bit MXFP4 floating point format. This process dramatically reduces the model's memory footprint. It's a key technology that enables massive models, like GPT OSS, to run on smaller, more efficient hardware, such as a single GPU. OpenAI is also dropping its tokenizer for free. That's the AI's dictionary, the part that turns your words into math. And this is a big deal because it's a better version of the one their best models, like GPT-40, already use. So the tech is impressive on paper. But when it was time for the real-world test, that's where the opinions started to split. OpenAI implemented a strict safety protocol. Users are finding the model is now so paranoid about breaking the rules that it spends more of your tokens on long internal monologues about safety than it does actually giving you an answer. When testing it myself, I asked it to create a simple snake game, and it was able to do it perfectly. I have also noticed that it takes additional tokens to measure and detect safety rules. I then asked it to criticize almost all the powerful presidents and it was able to do it. But when it detects even slightly copyrighted stuff, it will shut itself down. Or if you ask it to tell a lie, it will report you to open AI employees.